Okay, so I'm doing this video because a lot of people have been asking me questions. A modder's perspective on this, right, as someone who's made many mods of the game, paid and free. It's both good and terrible in this scenario. For a business to VR chat, it's good. Right? They can make more money because they have less competition. They have nothing to go against anymore. It's bad for all of us consumers because there's people that depend on mods to play the game. There's people that have some luxuries that they wouldn't have in the game that the developers would take forever to implement, such as no post-processing and such. There's also mods that opened up doors for external software. Again, no post-processing. It stops skewing of colors. Some worlds don't have toggles. Now, there's also other ends of this spectrum. Sure, there's toxic mods. Here's the problem. It doesn't really stop those. The EAC update for VRChat got bypassed within one hour of it releasing. What is it stopping? This just reminds me of when VRChat switched from Mono to IL2 CPP, a total different framework for Unity games. And then they made it to where it was a lot harder to work with. It was bypassed in no time. It did nothing to it. The problem is this only hurts consumers, because we know that they can flick the switch at any time and have everyone get auto-banned. Who, you know, that was bypassing it. But toxic people don't care about bans. They don't care about that. So who is this really affecting? I don't think this is a good move, and I think honestly that it should be a little differently focused. Now, obviously, I'm not going to offer criticism of a solution. There is a solution, but it's not this. For one, a social game where the whole entire model is that the community of our people build your game by building the content? I don't think it's a good idea to censor a form of content. Even if it is content that wasn't initially intended, of our people just adding more to it isn't exactly a great idea. Now, this is where this goes in a weird direction. The solution in this scenario is to actually fix the game. Now, that seems like a cop out answer. I get that. Now, there's a lot of exploits in the game, right? We're not going to, you know, step around that. There is. There's the use speaker exploit to blast people's eardrums. That's a problem. That needs fixed. There's numerous photon events that can be spammed to the point that it will even crash someone. That needs fixed. There's still some heavy RPCs. That needs fixed. Udon is extremely exploitable. That also needs fixed. It needs to be actually properly obfuscated. At, you know, after it's uploaded. So then reading properties and the like shouldn't work out. Not for the users anyway. Now, while that is again a cop out answer, it is the only actual solution here where it won't affect the average user. You know, say to give an example of mods that people like anti crashes, mods to hide avatars over distance, FSR mods. Because some people don't like have it in their Steam VR, they don't want another game, so maybe it breaks another game. You know, there's oh, there's too many comfy VR menu, making your menu appear above your head, so then you don't have to nearly break your neck just to see the menu. There's just too many. People can list them. I'm not going to go through them all, but there is an extreme amount of mods. Now, VRChat has took a okay perspective. It's not great but they have took an okay perspective. They're implementing some of the mods, you know, like for example, portable mirror mods and comfort VR menu, but they're not taking that for all of the mods that people like. You know, for example, what about no post-processing? What about an anti-crash? So people crash avatars can't affect you, but you can still at least see things. You don't have to, you know, affect the actual social ability of the whole game just because some people are dicks. It's a tricky situation, I get that. But I think they should rethink the decision and make it a little bit different, a little bit more well thought out. Anyway, that's been me. I'm gonna go back into developing things like Railfail. If anyone is curious of what that is from the mention, Railfail was just a tool I've made for VR chat. It doesn't get affected by this update. You can look at my channel for details. Alright, bye bye.